Good morning, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Friday, March the 19th. And I'm here again for our daily devotions. And this morning, we'll be reading from the book of Mark in the 13th chapter. And we'll be starting at the 24th verse. If you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. And the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree lesson, or from the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. <clears throat> Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. All right, so um, this, this chapter here, or this portion of this chapter is dealing with the, the end times and specifically the last day when Jesus will come again with all power and all glory. Um, and it's not something that any of us are going to miss. Um, we are going to all will see the Son of Man coming in clouds, in the clouds with great power and great glory. And so we will know when we see him that it is the last day. Uh, but before then, before then, none of us will know the day or the hour um, when he's going to come. That's only known to the Father, not to, to any of us, not even to the Son, but only to the Father. So we know that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will never pass away. Like all, all the entertainment and all the mammon we have now will eventually pass away, but God and his word will never pass away. They will endure forever. They are eternal. So uh, we need to keep a, a watchful eye out here as this, as this chapter is telling us uh, to continue in God's word because no one knows the day or the hour when Jesus will come. Um, and we don't want to be caught sleeping um, in the ways of the world. And so we, we, look, we look to Jesus' second coming as right now in Lent we are looking to when uh, Jesus is going to enter into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday here in a, in a week or two. And um, so as we reflect back on, on Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem to die on the cross to take away our sins, we also look forward to the day when he will come again to take us with him to heaven. So our hymn this morning <clears throat> is hymn 513, The Clouds of Judgment Gather, and we'll do just the first verse. <clears throat> The clouds of judgment gather, the time is growing late. Be sober and be watchful, our judge is at the gate. The judge who comes in mercy, the judge who comes in might, to put an end to with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you for joining me for our daily devotions this morning. 
Um, just a few announcements. Uh, tomorrow we will be having women's coffee hour at 10 a.m. through Zoom. So looking forward to seeing many, many of you ladies through that. And um, I can't think of any other special announcements coming up this Sunday. We will be having Sunday school and church at our normal times, as well as confirmation again at 6 o'clock. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to seeing all of you throughout uh, this weekend in our events here and uh, throughout the week. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Friday.